previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin, a villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Do we have everyone? Everybody safe? Yeah. Everyone except Nurm. Duh. Can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Stop it. You're hurting her feelings. Nurm wanted to stay, Jack. You have to respect that. Well, you should have stopped him. Wow, you were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. It used to be beautiful. So you say. This place doesn't look very friendly or welcoming. Used to be. But now? Guess we're gonna find out together. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It was... slow. Oh boy. You watched your friend die. That's awful. It does have a life-altering ring to it, doesn't it? But I had those memories to keep me warm for all that time in prison. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? That... is the biggest... Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. It would be great if I could go one day! Just one day without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Raynard. Don't look at its eyes. <gasps> Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go! Going! Thank you, Luna. It's dismantling the tower!
town isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. What? Do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. for me cuz cuz I'm tough whatever our defenses are impressive state of the art machinery automated farming the oasis is a completely self-sustaining city it's home what what happened to it So sorry, I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this. Save your pity. Wait, this is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on, I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town, and they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you walking carpet! E e yourself. You uh. You okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. Disgusting spit everywhere, not good for anything. No useful skills, can't make maps, no sense of humor. A terrible conversationalist. Hey, I get that you're upset, but would you stop taking it out on the poor llama, please? I do, I... Oh, I just, I want... I'm sorry. I think I let my mighty emotions get the better of me there. Sorry, Luna. We'll get Nurm back, Jack. I don't know how yet, but we're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I, uh, I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep, years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said. Zara? <gasps> Look at this, my bed. Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <sighs> wow. Come on, guys. Be nice. I'm being as nice as I possibly can. No, no, you're right. Sorry, Jesse. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. He won't get away with this. We'll get back at the admin for what he did. We'll avenge your, your... your bed. You really believe that, don't you? Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? The portal. It's broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. 
Oh. Don't lose hope, okay? We can still do this, if you help us. I doubt that. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Come on, Zara, if you built it once, you can build it again. You're the best inventor in the... underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even... better? I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? The admin hurt the people I care about. Nobody gets away with that. Nobody. So I'm finding Fred's weapon and taking him down. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Zara said to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless, unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place needed. Run on ahead! Never say no to a little gunpowder. Red Keep, here we come! Uh, Jesse? Oh, no. Who made eye contact with the Enderman? I'm sorry. Go! It's okay. We're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! I'm okay! No! Need to stop saying that! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. You don't know what an admin smells like. I'm Jesse. Hi. And this is Jack. Really? You're seriously making introductions right now? <laughs> We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding! You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself! <laughs> yeah. Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die! <laughs> the first one! Pick the first one! I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Ugh, my arms are tired. You should help us because it's the right thing to do. 
If you see someone in trouble, you have to do something. You think any of this down here is right? <laughs> right went out the window with the rest of the sky. What? Uh, maybe I do feel a little sorry for you, though. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords? Or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> Here! And one more makes two. Fine, but pull me up first. One nasty fall. Thank you. Those are fine blades. Oh, now I'm being rude. The name's Porkchop. And this here's my crew. The toughest scavengers you'll ever have the pleasure of meeting. Hiya. Sup. Best be careful as you get on your way. You're looking a little squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, watch out. <laughs> Never know when a cliff will just... Jump out at ya! <laughs> Boo! Thanks for your help. Thanks for this beauty! Oh, and, uh, make sure to keep your pockets stocked for next time, alright? <laughs> oh. One last piece of advice? Keep your eyes peeled. You're not alone down here. Yeah, luck, squeakies! Great, let's go. Jesse! Jack, are you okay? I've been better. What are you doing? Where's your sword? Um... Ah, come on. Ah, stupid scavengers, stupid cliffs. This never would have happened if... Okay, that's it. What happened up there? Oh, we got shaken down by a couple of scavengers, and they took our swords. Well, at least you're okay, right? <sighs> I guess. Just haven't felt this pathetic since... Well, it's been a long time. Now we've got nothing to protect us against a normal Enderman, let alone a giant one. Well, I mean, it's not the first time we've been seemingly defenseless. Jack, are you or are you not the, uh, raging storm of... Chun? Is it Chun? Chunji Chunji Forest. Right. We don't need a sword. You are a weapon. Yeah, those scavs would have been terrified if they knew, right? <laughs> Horrified. Thanks, Jesse. I guess this is how they keep the mobs out. We come in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone. Everyone in the underneath. Inta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with the fireworks display as usual. 
And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Hey, we just got here. We have no right to judge them. Okay, sorry. I think it's kind of nice. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred and locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. You have to help me, this is important. I don't have to do anything for you, outsider. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. <laughs>